Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about file input output in C programming language. So let's begin. The term file input output is also known as the file handling or file operation. Now there are various operations that could be done on a file like creating a file, reading the content from a file, writing something to a file, going to a particular line of a file or closing a file like that. So in C programming we will see what are the various utilities that are provided to the programmer to perform this operation. Right? So let's say there is a file with the name of abc dot txt and the content are i am here okay and i need to read the content of this file using a program so first of all i'll write here hash include studio dot h right then void main and after that i will create a pointer of structure file like that okay now what is a file now you can see in the screen that file is a structure okay file is a structure and we are making a pointer variable of a structure now here they had used the type def just to tell you that whenever you want to make the variable of this structure then you have to use file now if you don't know about the type def then you can check out the video by clicking on the i button so basically we are making a pointer variable of a structure now this structure is used for the file manipulation or performing the file operations right so i had made here a pointer variable of file structure note that this is structure and this structure is defined in the studio.h header file that is also the reason we are including this file right and then this is a structure pointer variable okay now we need to open a file for that we use the function that is f open okay inside it we write generally write two arguments right now the first one will be the name of our file so the name of our file is abc.txt so i'll write here abc.txt and then here we have to write the mode of mode of file now mode of file means that which operation you want to perform in this file for example whether you want to read the file or whether you want to write something to a file or overwrite it or append the contents so here we write the mode of file for reading purpose i'll write here r okay and note that these are in double quotes so basically we are passing the string here and then i'll assign it to fp now what is happening here f open returns the address of the structure of type file again if f open is able to open this file then it will return a address of file structure so that address is now assigned to the fp and now fp is able to manipulate or do all sort of operation that are defined in the in this structure so remember that another thing is that if this f open is unable to open this file then it will return me null okay so i'll write here if file not open for any reasons like let's say the file does not even exist okay so in that case it will return us null and if file is present or if it is open then it will return me address of file structure okay and that address will be assigned to the fp pointer variable now f open does another work that is let's say our file is present in the disk okay main disk like hard drive we can say okay and it will bring the content of the file in the part of the memory that is known as the buffer okay so now the file with its content that is i am here are stored in the buffer memory now buffer is a small part of our main memory okay main memory or we can say it ram okay now fp will point to the first character of our file so now fp will be pointing to the first character of our file that is the i okay so this is happening behind the scene when i am writing fp equals to f open abc.txt comma r okay so let me wrap it again 
that first of all it will open the it will try to open the file if the file is not open then it will return null and if the file is open then it will return the address of a file structure that address is assigned to the fp pointer variable which is again a pointer variable of type structure file right along with this f open will bring the content of the file in the buffer memory and then file pointer will point to the first character of our file okay so this is what happened when i am writing this much of code right now let's say i want to check that whether the file is even opened or not so i'll write here fp is equal equal null i have to check this and i'll write it inside the if now if fp equal equal null that means the file is unable to open then i should write file printf let's say printf file could not be opened right and if this is not the case then carry out the operation that i want to perform okay basically in the else part for example you want to read the content or you want to write the content like this sort of operation you can perform okay now after you had read the file or write the content of the file you need to close our file also so for that we use the library function again that is f close and we inside it we will write the file pointer so basically f f close f p okay and that will be all so f close will close the file and the content which are present in the buffer will be removed so basically this buffer memory which was used by our abc.txt will be removed from the here after it will encounter the f close statement okay so file will be closed and we should always remember to include this line whenever we want to close the file okay close the file now f close and f open are library functions which are defined in the studio.h header file so remember that now inside here i should write we perform our operation for example whether we want to read the file or write the file or append the file so here inside it we will write our file operations okay in this line i had done one of the file operation that is the opening of file and in this line i had written f close fp basically another file operation that is the closing of file okay so this it is also a file operation right so this is the general thing that we will always use whenever we will be doing file operation so remember everything written here okay in the next video we will see how we can actually read the content of the file and in the output screen we will be showing i am here as an output and then also we will look at how we can actually write the content to a particular file okay those operation will be talked in the next video so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video